Okay, so I want to show you the number one reason why you want an updated PHP version, why you don't want to run PHP 5.6 or somewhere in the sevens even, why you want PHP 8 or ideally PHP 8.1. So I've got a standard WordPress site here and basically I'm using WordPress because it's the only thing available that still runs PHP 5.6 and PHP 8.1 at the same time. And uh, let's take a look. I've got Forge here. This is my server config. I've got all PHP versions and we'll start at PHP 5.6. Just to prove that it's 5.6 and this is my uh, WordPress backend. 5.6 here, okay? And so uh, let's benchmark it. This is a tool that sends a number of requests and times everything. Going to send 100 requests, five concurrent requests, and we're going to just visit the homepage here. And note that I won't be logged in when doing these benchmarks because this is a different session. So uh, let's go and we're done. And as you can see, it put out lots of information here. And what we're most interested about is uh, these two metrics. And so this is the amount of requests that my website can handle per second. And of course it correlates to time per request, uh, which is the time a user has to wait for one single request to finish. So as you can see more than two and a half seconds here, and almost two requests per second for a standard WordPress installation on PHP 5.6. And this is running on a digital ocean droplet. Uh, so now let's update to PHP 7. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's double check whether we're running PHP 7. And yes, we are in fact running it. Let's do the same benchmark here. And meanwhile, I also put the data here in an Excel sheet so that I can uh, show a graph at the end. Uh, this one is done. As you can see, it's already quite a difference. PHP 7, 9, almost 10 requests per second and only half a second per request. So let's do the same now. Let's just go through all of them real quick. And we're done. And as you can see, I've added the chart here. For the time per request, you want the value to be as low as possible. And requests per second, you want the value to be as high as possible. Of course, there are some small differences depending on how much iterations uh, you use for your benchmark. And this is just running on a server. There might be some delay in some occasions, but it doesn't really matter. We're interested in the relative change. And as you can see here, 5.6 is so much worse than the sevens. But as you can see, there's a, a big difference still between 7.3 and 7.4. And that's because there were a lot of performance improvements in 7.4 and 8.1 added some performance improvements as well. As you can see, it's worth staying up to date with PHP versions. If you don't want to do it for the awesome new syntax, then at least do it for performance because your website visitors will actually be very thankful for that.